What's up guys, this is Wellfort. Uh, I think this is a new version that Warrior just compiled. Blue team we've got Warrior, Tetrio, Jack Dalton, Malpractice, Red team is uh, May, T, Henoch, and someone to be joining soon, hopefully. They're probably just going to get back up to hell, in my opinion. Uh, right here is a really strong runner spot, especially since here they have two guys distracted right now. Uh, it's still a three versus four. But to be honest, uh, I think red team still kind of has the advantage. Okay. I don't know who the hell this uh, new guy has just joined in. Could be foot pop or something. May comes in, dies. I don't think that map, that, that jump isn't possible on this map. I think it was purposely designed so, uh, you can't actually get out that way. Okay, this is getting kind of tedious of them just going back and forth like this. Alright, Tetrio does the right thing. He doesn't retreat far enough to give up this bottom path, which would have, uh, led to a really easy um, escape up to here at the very least. I see that a lot in runner versus runner uh, skirmishes is that runners are always in love with retreating and trying to get the other runner to run into your bullets that they give up too much position. All right, he grabs the intel. Yeah, takes the bottom path. <laughs> Jukes him out there, comes back up around. Tetrial's there with a healer. Autogun managed to get a few hits, but they don't even get the kill. I don't know why Warrior would put the autogun there. Like, what is it going to shoot exactly? Like, I guess up to here. I'm going to draw. Wow, it doesn't work. Haha, <laughs> blown up. The drawing still doesn't work with this uh, new version. This is not fixed. I think they can suicide right here. This autogun will go down quick. Um... Uh, so Malpractice and Warrior are respawning. Their healer dies as well, so they're not going to have any heals coming up over here. They pop an Uber. They won't be able to... <laughs> wow. I don't know if they, uh, if May shot prematurely there, and he was actually really close to killing him without him even being able to reset the intel. Tetro might be able to reset the intel here, they do take it here with their uh, rocket medic combo. They drop down here. Nice. Gets the kill. One more shot. Tetro should be able to seal this off. I think their main concern right now is to somehow... Nah, they can't reset the intel. Alright, Tetro needs to go back for health. Because he has this uh, area sealed off right now. There's no point in making a bad risky maneuver, like jumping into <laughs> shots right there. Okay, I think, yeah, Foot Pop will be able to get out of here. He's got the intel far enough out. Okay, that auto gun spot is really kind of stupid. <laughs> get blown up, Warrior. You design the map and then he puts it in a stupid spot with that, that hits guys that walk by like twice. The 16 damage. <laughs> He's going in kind of hard against the Rocket Man. It's not really doing much. Uh, May is able to take out both players. Their combo comes in for a little uh, basement battle down here. Misses a snipe. Misses another snipe. Let's see if he can get in at least one shot. Damn, takes him out. The Red Medic T. I don't think he should have went in that direction anyways. Because if they're going in uh, this direction, if blue team is coming back out with the intel, then there's no point in coming here and then playing catch up to them. You might as well seal them off with the rest of your team and heal them up. So they lose one intel right there. <laughs> Damn. That was such good timing there. He just jumps in. Nice. Gets off a kill against the medic. 
Proves his worth there a little bit. Gets killed to the runner scatter gun though. They'll be able to seal off this uh, alternate route. Takes one rocket. Nice. Gets the last one. So Malpractice picks up the kill right there. Oh, that was really close. Nice try though. Wow, Foot Pop gets taken down. Combination of uh, runner and rockets. Oh shit. I think May will be able to kill him. Alright, nice. That was a good uh, uncloak there. Foot Pop switches to Pyro. Kind of a pointless stab there, because if their healer's already dead, you don't need to go for a stab. You can just shoot them a few times. They're going to come back out with the uh, one cap lead. Alright, smart from Jack Dahl, and he waits for his uh, Rocket Man to jump out before he comes out. Duh, doesn't want to risk taking a random snipe shot. Nice. Nice shot from May. And we saw <laughs> he's 17 and 6 right now. Kind of abusing the map right now. Alright, Foot Pop switches to his specialty class. Nice. Warrior gets a stab. Yeah, you gotta retreat here. Tetril, just chill here. Who cares? You're gonna die. Okay. Kind of a bad decision there from Foot Pop to drop down. <laughs> he wastes his time. Come back all the way around. And as a result, uh, ooh, wow. Oh, just right before. Okay, so we just noticed a little bit of uh, bad decision making, uh, mounting up into a uh, near death via the spy revolver. Uh, since the overweight dropped down here with low HP, he had to retreat back and it took him a little bit of time. So T actually came down to heal him back up just out of uh, good instinct, you know. But then that led him to getting shot uh, by the spy. So at that point, you don't need to actually drop down a heal because he's not in any danger of getting uh, hurt. You just got to stay with the rest of his team. All right. Sniper's got a good location here. You should be able to get that shot. I don't know why he's not shooting. Oh, well. <laughs> Looks like Warrior's going for a back cap. Uh, pretty strong uh, decision right there, I think. They don't have a runner to defend against the back cap. I think May will be able to take off a shot. <laughs> Euro trash. <laughs> nice. Oh wow. That was, that was actually really cool. They managed to get away with that. Good rocket jump by Malpractice. They get to the middle building. This is actually a very defensible position right here. Because, uh, aside from the spy, I think he's actually gonna go all the way around. Nice. Unfortunately, yeah, it gives away his position. Now they have to expect that he's coming in from around. Tetrio grabs the intel. He's going to take the bottom path. Unfortunately, this forces his medic to actually drop down too. I think at that point, you kind of want to... Uh, maybe it's a bit tricky, but to try to fake him out. Pretend you're dropping in here and just double jump back out. Because it forces the red team to commit to defense on the bottom path and you just come back out. They got... Uh, pretty, pretty much slower classes on red team. We've got double class, uh, runner right now. So Hinox switches back to runner off of Deto. Probably because of, uh, back cap attempts. Nice. Takes out the spy. Or right, the spy takes out the sniper. Cavalier is almost dead. Is blue uber should be able to defend this. Uh, with some tricky jumping here, he might be able to get out, but. Alright, gets the shot in. This window is helpful for defense, but they do manage to get out. It's quite surprising because they weren't able to seal off a like pretty much zero HP runner. Alright, Hinok reconvenes with his team. Maze got like zero health, dies to splash. I don't know why he didn't just keep going back. Might as well just cap it. I think since uh Waria he revealed his position, it's it's clear that he's somewhere in the base right now. He's going to get shot by some random shit. Uh, they definitely need a one for one here. Yeah, Cobbler managed to take him out because he was already weakened. Alright, Foot Pops at like zero health. Managed to cut back up. Ooh, 
Kind of a stupid decision here. All right, good. Passes it off to May. Misses two rockets. Managed to get one though. Tetrial does go down from the rockets. We've got a blue Uber. I think they will be able to defend us. It's just too hard for. Oh wow, that was actually really surprising. Uh, he not got hit by a random rocket right there. Jack Dalton goes down. He's actually doing pretty decently on this map compared to uh, previously. On like, uh, I don't remember what other maps there were like right before this. Okay. You don't want to jump around. You don't want to actually preempt your jumps until your teammate actually uh, takes the jump there. They have to be aware, like, especially seeing the hit scan line, aware that the sniper is just sitting there, you know? I think he'll be able to get off at least one shot if they do decide to take the window, but it doesn't happen. Uh, good idea right now is just drop down right here. You have a much better angle. Potentially anyone uh, getting the crates over here. It's kind of hard to actually get any shots off if you're going if the rest of your team's going in hard. Yeah, they def they defended it pretty well. I think um, what they could have done is red team is just uh, retreat a little bit to open it up a sight line for May to get in a like a fully charged shot. Just takes out any weakened guys instantly. Red runner's going in hero mode. He's down to about 40 HP. May goes down to a some random bullets. Warrior's kind of just revolver spamming. It's actually a pretty decent strategy right here, as it is on uh, regular Classic Well, just because it's just a giant horizontal path. I think it's a mistake here for him to actually come out here. Oh, it does take him out, though. But the more pressing concern is that... Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> it looks like I missed that. Uh, good switch here from Malpractice, switches to Pyro. So lots of um, pretty strategic counterpicks going around. We've seen Foot Pop play a bunch of different classes. He's going to get taken out by the Pyro Flames. And one Flare should be able to take him out, manages to get away. Uh, smartly retreats, there's no point of him dying when he knows his healer's respawning come back. <laughs> May's going to get murked here. I think he might be able to kill Jack Dalton. Lucky? No. Ah, uh, so close. Good retreating right there. Um, some good uh, game sense right there. He knows his powers can get fucked up right there. He's already weakened by uh, the sniper or whatever. <laughs> that was kind of a shitty attempt right there. Definitely the crate stab attempts are not as strong as, like, say, in a public game. People just jump over without thinking. But since the spy's been here the entire map, and he's actually been pretty useful. There's like a lot of different hiding spots and different little tricks you can do with the spy. Wow, pops a counter uber. Kind of necessary here, because they have three versus two, and then the pirate does rejoin back in. Nice. Gets away from the flames, and he's managed to get out, but dies up here. Uh, I think if he was managed to not double jump and just come back down here, uh, it might be a little bit easier to get. But at that point, if the intel's way in their base, you're not going to be able to reset it anyways. Well, they're going in pretty hard right now. Um, I think the respawns are 5 seconds? Or 6 seconds? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think they will be able to get this. But you know, the intel being here rather than here, it makes no difference because... They've got a full push inside their base. That was a desperation stab. It's not going to kill anyone. You have to go for... Wow. That's the strength of power right there. Just crazy damage. Manages to defend against uh, the sniper and rocket man. Let's take a look at the de total deaths. Blue has died quite a bit more. And they've also healed a, a ton more as well. Probably because they're they're the ones taking way more damage. And they actually have more Ubers. Which should be expected if they do have that many. 
Damn. And that is game. Look at his score here. Top score was uh, Malpractice. He did quite well as... Uh, I think he played a bunch of different classes. Pyro there at the end. He's got scored a couple, lot of kills. Um, Jack Dalton, he did okay. Uh, played a little bit smarter than he was in uh, the previous matches. And on red team, I'd say the MVP of that was probably Henoch. And May did a lot of work too. Because the thing with Sniper is, as long as you get in charge shots, it doesn't really matter if you die. Because you're helping assist your teammates.